The time of history was very badly burned by the fact that it could not fully satisfy its own army with a domestic pistol. There are moments like this today. For example, the Russian special forces actively use the foreign Glock pistol. Don't have your own pistol, or just a foreign model is better. In fact, with pistols in Russia, it was always not very good, either in the Tsarist army or in the Soviet one. The TT pistol was developed and put into service almost urgently as a more or less tolerable alternative to both the self-living and obsolete revolver weapon system. The Makarov pistol, in turn, was developed as a replacement for the TT. It turned out to be not bad, but still not a masterpiece, but to replace the development, 48 years have still not been able to. In general, domestic engineers cannot make an excellent pistol in all respects. An assault rifle, a machine gun, a sniper rifle, that's it, but with short-barreled weapons, it's a disaster. Although interesting pre-production samples are available, actually, the lack of a reliable, simple and accurate pistol by the standards of special forces and became the reason that the Russian law enforcement agencies buy Austrian Glock pistols for themselves. Developed in the 80 seconds, the Glock literally blew up the market for short-barreled rifled weapons weapons, becoming one of the most popular pistols in the world. It is bought not only by Russia, but also by France, Germany, the USA, Great Britain and many other countries. However, the Austrian pistol is gradually being replaced by the domestic Eurigen pistol, which has been significantly improved in recent years. If you like it, subscribe to our channel. The